lay down. What's up, everybody? It's Jeff Desert Fox. Today we're at Umbrella Armories in Chino, California, getting my Elite Force VFC Saber Carbine upgraded. Umbrella Armory specializes in premium airsoft gun upgrades, customizable gun builds, and some repairs. What's up guys, I'm Jordan Pham, and I'm the head tech here at Umbrella Armory. Jet gave us one of his um, VFC Avalons, and we're gonna pimp it out. This is actually the first time working on the Avalon. Oh, they do have a MOSFET inside. All right, we just got the, the gearbox completely cleaned out, and I'm gonna go over some of the parts we're using. For the motor, we're using a Starway 30K motor, which is a 16 TPA armature helical type. It has a really strong pinion gear, and the end bolt's full CNC, which helps out dissipate the heat. Some other things we're using is a Siege Tech 1401s, which I will short stroke this by about two or three teeth, depending on the, the FPS that M130 is going to give me. And as you guys know, siege decks are considered the indestructible gears. Piston assembly will be a rocket SHS piston, paired along with a Lonex piston head. Uh, we like using Lonex piston heads because they are um, polymer, very strong, and it does absorb some of the impact, preventing the gearbox from cracking. If you try to use a uh, aluminum CNC piston head along with the cylinder head being metal, usually your gearbox tends to crack. Top of that, we will be using Magic Box 8mm ball bearings. They're steel caged and they're very strong for even the most demanding setups. Changing out the tappet plate to be a garter. Extremely strong, haven't had one fail. The cylinder is going to be a Lonex 3 fourths type for good um, air compression as well as a little over volume to carry a heavier weight BBs downrange. And as for the MOSFET, we're going to go on with the Titan MOSFET. If you guys aren't familiar with the Titan MOSFET yet, it's a completely digital trigger. You can program it in multiple different ways, and all the sensors are completely optical. So there's no switches to break at all in this setup. That's pretty much it. Now it's just going to be kind of tuning. Tuning, setting up the gearbox. I'm going to have the front radialed and shimming, and we'll throw everything together. The Titan MOSFET is now installed into the what? gearbox, right? Yeah, yeah. So right now we're just going to do the preliminary programming and make sure everything, all the sensors are working out properly. Okay, so the gun is literally plugged into this. Yeah. This little cool thing. Into oh the laptop. So now on the computer, it'll read up the software that's on the, on the Titan. It can be updated. This one's up to date already. And all the settings, I set things on certain modes for this. You want a low battery warning for life has? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Uh, three cell, <laughs> only 11 ones, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, cool. Sensors. Sick. Nice. Set that as a fire. This should work now. And that's it. All right, we just finished closing up the gun. The gun shoots around 400 FPS with 30 rounds a second. The gun was built for mainly trigger, trigger response, so the semi-auto is extremely fast, and when he needs to, full auto is there as well. This game will be live in three, two, one! Just 
guy kidding me? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's the bomb. Are you, did, how are you not gonna call that? People wonder why I f double tap everybody. Can you shoot the... Taylor, get out of the way, Taylor, get out of the way. Come on. Yes, now call it. What if I am a corpsman? You got me. Good job. Hit! I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna get a medic. Looking to get into big airsoft games like this one? Check out my new series of Desert Fox Airsoft events featuring the Blue Fox Tracker app. Visit our website or Facebook for events near you.